Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to my Tuesday trainings. Every Tuesday until August, I'm going to be posting a video on here where I'll be sharing my tips, ideas, and tutorials that can be utilized in your Avon business. So why should you even listen to me or take advice from me? Well, I became an Avon representative in 2015 and since then created a successful Avon online business with customers all across the U.S. I am grateful to have such an amazing customer base that is continuing to grow. Because of their continual support, I have already reached President's Club in 2020 and I'm in the top 25 in online sales and online sales growth. On top of my own personal sales, my team, the super sellers, have also been doing an incredible job. We've reached Silver Ambassador in March with over 30 representatives across the country and we are continuing to grow in size and in sales. And we are so on the road to reaching Gold Ambassador. With my team having so many new representatives, Tuesday trainings, where I will be going over how to start, build, and manage a successful Avon business. Last week, I went over how to get your Avon business started. If you'd like to check it out before continuing on with this video, you can click the above link, or you can click on the link below in the description box. This week, we're going to continue on with the training and discuss how to submit your first Avon Now order. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my upcoming videos, which are going to be every Tuesday and Friday. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and share if you find this tutorial helpful. So, when it comes to placing your Avon Now order, there are a few things that I suggest you do beforehand. Obviously, you are going to need to register your Avon Now account. This is something that I went over in last week's video. After that, you're going to want to do the new representative training in Avon U. For those of you who don't know what Avon U is, it is the free online training program that Avon offers. It's going to go over everything you need to know to start your Avon business, including what we are going to be discussing today. Next, I recommend choosing a date within the two-week campaign timeline that you're going to be able to do every campaign. This is going to provide consistency for yourself and for your representative delivery customers. For me, I submit my Avon Now orders the second Thursday of the campaign. So, all my rep delivery customers know that they must place their order before then, or they will have to place their order online. Speaking of customers, make sure to collect each person you speak to about your business contact information. Then, add it to your Avon Now address book. If for some reason they end up losing your online store link, what this is going to do is it's going to automatically link them to your online store if they ever go to the main Avon online store and create their own customer profile. Utilizing this tip has truly helped me grow my customer base and online sales. This is also going to help your customers as well because as a registered customer, they're going to be able to enjoy special pricing, free shipping with their $60 or more order, and now you can even send them coupon codes through the promotional tool. Don't worry, we will go over the promotional tool in an upcoming video, but today we are going to focus on submitting your Avon Now order first. Now, let's get to what we are all here for, how to submit your first Avon Now order. Today, I'm going to go over how to create a customer order with or without a product number, how to create your personal order, and finally, how to submit all of the orders to Avon for that given campaign. This video is probably going to be a bit long, so to better help you, I provided a timeline breakdown of where you'll be able to learn about each of the topics that we will be covering. So let's get started. We are going to first go over adding customer orders that give you the product number. I highly recommend encouraging your customers to give you the product number when they submit their order. This is going to help minimize any confusion or wrong ordering. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to click the enter items link which is on the top left corner and here is where you will put your customers order in that have product numbers for security reasons i'm only going to use my name throughout this video we'll click this drop down list and you'll be able to type in the customer's name and then click on the customer name once you see it after that you'll be able to click 
here and put in the product numbers, one product at a time. Today, we're going to order a Skin So Soft bath oil spray, which is currently on sale for $7.99. Just so you can see, if you click the drop down list, you will also see last campaign's price and the upcoming campaign's price. Past campaign price can be useful if for some reason a customer did not place the order on time and you want to honor that price. Having the upcoming campaign price can be useful for any customer who may be placing an order ahead of time. For the purpose of this video, we're going to just stick with the current campaign price. And then we're going to hit Add to Order. And then as you can see up on the top right corner, my total went from 3 to 4. Once you've added all the customer's products to their order, you can actually click on this cart up here and click View Orders. And this is where you will be able to actually see what the customer's order is. As you can see, I have the Skin So Soft Original Bath Oil Spray along with my Avon Senses that I've previously added to my order. So say you have a customer that places an order but does not give you the product number. There are a few ways that you can add these items to a customer's order. The first way is to go through the brochure that is available through your Avon Now. This is extremely helpful if your customer gives you the page number but not the product number. So you will click the Browse Product tab, go down to where it says View Brochure. I understand that up on the top left corner it does say Digital Catalog. You can click on this and add items to your orders through this link. For simplicity of this video, we're going to just continue on with this process. So I will click on the brochure that I want to shop from. You will see that this is the brochure for the current campaign. You will have two options to shop through the brochure. You can go through the product categories or you can do through the product page. Now say a customer gave you the product name and the page number. So say they wanted the Face Shop Blush on page 32. So we go down here and you can either click on the picture of the item or the description of the item. And here you will be able to choose a shade, whatever shade that they chose. So today we will choose pink, my favorite color. And just like before, you will be able to choose your customer through the drop down list and then you click add to order. As you will see, each time you click on a products page, you will have the option to add to the current order or to the next campaign. This is just an option for you to utilize or if a customer wants to place an upcoming campaign order. As I said, for the simplicity of this video, we're just going to focus on this campaign or for whatever current campaign you are working on. Just like before, you'll be able to check to see if all the products you've added were in the customer's cart. And see, it is here, ready to go. Now another way that you can add an item to a customer's cart without a product number is using this search bar. So we can do cushion blush. As you see, it popped up here. You can click on it and it brings you to the product page. And once again, you can click the shade and add to order. Another way is to use the browse products drop down list. Now, as you can see, you'll have a variety of categories to choose from or you can use the shop all. I very rarely use it this way, but if this is something that you prefer to do, it is available. So now that we've gone over how to add a customer's order to your cart, we're going to move on to your personal order. Now here is where a lot of new representatives actually get themselves into a lot of trouble. I am not one who is going to sit here and tell you that you need to keep products on hand or to do anything that is beyond what you can financially do. I'm not saying that having products on hand is a bad idea. It's just one way to work your business. And if you can't financially do so right now, then you don't need to. One thing that I personally do is purchase products for myself and my boys. Being a single mom of four boys, I am always one to shop for the best deals and to save money wherever I can. I personally love all things beauty, 
and my boys love their men's body wash and fragrances. Whether you are new to Avon products or not, this is a great way to learn more about our products. Remember, you will be your best advertisement for your business. Now, with your personal order, there are a few items that you should make sure you are good to go with. The first thing is obviously brochures. What you're going to do is click on the Browse Product drop-down list and then click on Order Brochures. Once you come to the screen, you'll be able to scroll down and see that you'll be able to order up to two campaigns ahead. We are currently in campaign 13, so we can order up to campaign 15 brochures. I recommend ordering two campaigns ahead. That way you have plenty of time to get them labeled and packed and ready to go. So since we are in campaign 13, let's go ahead and order campaign 15 brochures. So you're going to click on the quick shop button. You're going to select the version that you would like. And make sure that your name is the customer listed, the number that you want. Now remember, English brochures come in packs of 10, and Spanish brochures come in packs of 5. So let's go on and add this to our order. Once you're done with brochures, if you want, you can also add sales flyers. Normally you receive one pack of sales flyers in your order for free. So I personally just take advantage of the free sales flyers and give them to my customers. Once again, you can choose the English or the Spanish version. Now that you've ordered your sales flyers, next is to go over the what's new. So I'm going to click on the browse products drop down link again and go down to the what's new link here. As you will see, there is everything that is available in the what's new all right here but do keep in mind the ones on the bottom are for upcoming what's news that will be available in the upcoming campaigns for example this one which I'm actually very excited to get for my boys the Gentology herb and aloe two-in-one hair and body wash which is not going to be available for me to purchase until next campaign so if I want you to get a order ready for next campaign I would be able to do so Another way to order what's new products is to actually order them through the brochure link that we went to previously. So you click the browse product drop down, go down to view brochure. As you will see, there's the campaign 14 what's new, which is the upcoming campaign. And then campaign 15 what's new, which is two campaigns ahead. So let's click on the campaign 14 what's new. Now when you come to this page, you'll be able to see that you can scroll through by clicking the arrow button here or by choosing a certain page number. Now if you wanted to order product, say you ran out of some body wash and you're looking to replace something with an Avon one. Since Campaign 14 is going to be launching a new Avon Census collection, this would be a great opportunity to try one of these out. So say we will try the Avon Census Cozy Vanilla and Coconut Shower Gel. I do want to acknowledge right here on all the product pages, you're going to see what the sales price is in the brochure. This is not going to be the price that you will be paying. I will go into more detail once we go to checkout. And you will see that your discount will be applied. So we will click to add to order. And there we go. Once you are done with that, this next step I highly recommend you go over every campaign to make sure you have everything you will need to promote and support your customers in the next campaign. It is all about ordering samples and business tools. So just like before, we're going to go to Browse Products and click the Samples. As you can see, there are a variety of samples that you can choose from. Samples are a great way to advertise your business and give customers a chance to try out products that they may not otherwise try. What I personally love to do is to pick a new product and place that in my campaign brochure. This way, it will give my customers a chance to try a product that they may not have otherwise tried. The Fruits and Passion Cusiana hand soap samples are going to be a great way to introduce customers to this amazing new hand soap. This shows that it is zero one cent. Usually this means that it is going to be given to us as a special offer as a representative. 
So I'm going to order two of these. After ordering samples, it's next to go to Sales and Business Tools. As you come to the Sales and Business Tools page, you're going to see business tools and sales tools that you can use to promote and to utilize in your business, such as shopping bags to place customer orders in, batteries. These clear literature bags are so versatile. I personally use them to keep my customers' brochures all nice and pretty, and I've also used these to put customers' small orders in. Today we are going to order a pack of 10 medium shopping bags. I highly recommend only purchasing these products as you go. It is not necessary to buy extra large shopping bags to place customers orders in if they are placing small item orders. So once we are done with the sales and business tools and with your customer's orders entered and your personal order now entered, you are ready to submit your order. So now we're going to want to click on this cart up here on the top right corner and click the view orders. And you will scroll down and if you had more than one customer or more than just your personal order, you will see each customer's name like this with the number of items that are in their order and the estimate total of what their order will be. I am going to go over how to create a customer invoice in an upcoming video, but for now we're just going to focus on submitting your order. If you click this pink arrow, it will go down and it will give you all the items that you ordered for that customer in that campaign. Now if you come up to this top area, you'll see that there's offers and a brochure tab as well. When you click on the Offers tab, you will see the current offers that are available for you. Right now for me, it's the Cusina Hand Soap Samples, the Priming Moisturizer Samples, and the Bug Guard Bundle that you see advertised in the What's New. Now if you forgot to order brochures, you can order them here, and Avon will actually remind you. Now as you saw I just deleted the brochures out of my order. I'm going to click the checkout order and as you see it says don't forget to order your brochures. So you can say you know to check out now or you yes you want to add brochures. So yes we want to add brochures. So we're going to add one pack in again and then we're going to click the checkout order because we are all set and ready to go. Now here is going to give you a breakdown of your order. On this side, on the right, you're going to see your subtotal, what your shipping cost will be to ship it, the tax. This is where you're going to see your total earnings for that campaign based on the products you ordered through Avon Now. This does not include any earnings that you've received through your online store. So over here, you will actually see what you earn for each product that was ordered. So for this, I would have earned $5.60. Do note that I am earning a 40% earnings for reaching Honor Society sales level last year. As I said earlier, I have reached President's Club already in 2020 and will continue to earn the 40% earnings next year. That is one of the many benefits you get to enjoy as a President Recognition representative. If you continue to scroll down, you'll see where it's going to be shipped, your rival estimate, then it gives you your payment method option. For those of you who do have a credit with Avon, you will see it here, and you can click on it, and then you put the amount that you want to use towards your credit. Do note that you are responsible to pay this amount by the time you submit your next campaign order. As you can see, you can pay by credit card or PayPal. Now I'm currently not ready to submit my order because it is still too early for me to submit it. But once you are ready to submit your order, you will click here. And then a pop-up will come up with your confirmation number. And you will receive a confirmation email from Avon right away. And congratulations, you have submitted your first Avon Now order. 
Now, thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on my upcoming videos where I'll be sharing more tutorials and tips you can use in your Avon business. Also, don't forget to like and share this video if you found it very helpful. Until next time, remember, be kind to yourself and to others. Bye!